Hello, good day to you. We're here for another episode of the James Rodney Santiago YouTube channel. We're here to talk about coverage prediction and uh, to settle the long-standing issue which one is the better transmission location? Is it Antipolo or Quezon City? This has been a subject of long discussion among engineers preferable to transmit within the city or take advantage of the height of a mountain. Now, if we take a look at these two sites, the aerial distance is just about 13 kilometers. So it's a matter of final decision among the management which they think would best suit their transmission operation. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we will discuss and cover topics dealing with broadcasting, technology, sites and travel, and everything in between. So sit back, relax, click the subscribe button, and enjoy. The essential stuffs that you need to consider before transmitting are listed uh, on the slide. And uh, basically, the intention is to have an identical uh, parameters for the comparison. We'll start with the identical transmission power, ident identical transmission power height, and identical antenna gain for both sides. So, in this example, I can see to be somewhere in Agham Road and then one in uh, Antipolo. Somewhere where elevation is uh, sufficient to the, the most areas in Antipolo. I'm using a software called Radio Mobile for illustration purposes. Uh, it's a software created by Mr. Roger Kudr or Kudre and it's a freeware so feel free to download it. So first stage is the site selection in the software. So you need to identify uh, by longitude or latitude. We usually call them coordinates. And then um, apply uh, those settings for your transmission. You put a label, uh, the name of your uh, location, the type of uh, marker that would uh, make it distinctive from uh, other uh, transmission sources so by a color code or shape of a marker and then uh, applying a layer a map layer in this case I chose uh, Google map uh, easily understandable and uh, very familiar for most people so once you have placed your transmission location you need to define the parameters so as part of the apples to apples uh, comparison we are going to use same frequency and same transmission polarization uh, with 95% of the location for the 50-50% 50, 50, uh, probability of the 50% location and then defining the location of the Philippines being <coughs> a tropical country <coughs> and then another one would be the selection of the appropriate antenna pattern we're talking of the horizontal radiation pattern only for illustration. So we're going to use omnidirectional antenna for both. And then after defining everything, I need to also establish a reception point, which we would declare in the software as a subordinate. Uh, it, it is used mainly as a reference point uh, for reception. Uh, because if we don't define a subordinate, then sometimes the simulation doesn't work. So, the simulation usually takes a lot of time depending on the resolution settings that you define. Uh, for, uh, for paying clients, we use the highest resolution possible. But uh, for the purpose of this uh, example, we're going to use somewhere in the middle to speed up the calculation of the software okay but despite having declared that uh, it would give us the fastest calculation time on the average each simulation for maybe a an 80 kilometer radius or 70 kilometer radius coverage map 
would uh, require you to spend around 30 to 45 minutes depending on the specifications of your computer so more memory uh, maybe an SSD and a faster CPU would really help but still uh, sufficient amount of time is still necessary so it gives you an opportunity to, to have some coffee you know, enjoy and maybe watch uh, some episodes uh, of, uh, on YouTube specifically some of my channel uh, programs while waiting for the uh, completion of the calculation okay so on the screen basically what you're seeing is the um, software calling the topographical map which the one I'm using is from NASA it's called the one arc second topographical map and then I overlay the Google map on top of it to make the locations easily re recognizable especially for people who are not that uh, really good in, uh, in, in geography okay but uh, it helps also for the ease of identification of certain areas that have strong or weak signals okay um, in addition to the simulation one thing that is missing here is the plotter data I don't have the building data, the height, the dimension so it adds up to the actual losses of your transmission so there are professional softwares meant to do calculations with the uh, declutter data but in this case uh, for the purpose of illustration I have to tell the listeners that uh, I don't have the data for that one okay uh, right now on the screen what you're seeing is uh, me defining the color codes for the signal level so to make it simple the red refers to the area wherein signal would be failing okay of course the blue and the green would be the best okay. and now we're running the simulation so this is actually 1000 times faster than the actual simulation so if you think this is still slow then imagine this uh, running at normal speed so I wanted to accelerate it further so that we could uh, achieve the results in a short span of time, uh, 10 times faster, and have uh, this episode as short as possible. And this would be applied for the Quezon City site, 430 kilowatts transmitter power, 10 dB gain, 200 meter antenna height uh, and uh, identical channels for antipolo so we're gonna repeat this simulation three times you know why three times? Quezon City and antipolo will have to be run in the same simulation with identical parameters the third one is the condition wherein I will lower down the power transmitting power of the antipolar station to 10 kilowatts and lower down the tower height to 100 meters while maintaining the gain to be at uh, the same condition when the initial simulation for Quezon City and antipolar is run. So basically I just reduced the tower height and the transmission power. This would uh, help and aid us in the comparison of the benefit of putting your transmitting station in the middle of uh, Metro Manila which is uh, in this case most anyway most broadcasters TV broadcasters are in Quezon City VHF to be specific and most of the UHF broadcasters are in uh, in Antipolo Okay. It is uh, a known fact that uh, most broadcasters are supposed to transmit in Antipolo. But anyway, uh, historically, the likes of GMA, ABS-CBN, PTV, 
have transmitted in inside Metro Manila since the creation of the networks. So now we're running the simulation for Antipolo with the same parameter of Quezon City as 30 kilowatt transmitter power, 10 dB gain, and 200 meter tower height. Okay. I'm also moving the uh, the navigation bar to highlight uh, areas of Bataan if it's being covered and also to the eastern side uh, to the direction of Polillo Island. So this is going to be a very short uh, illustration unlike uh, the other initial episodes I made that lasted more than 45 minutes but this time I'm really trying my best to limit each episode around 10 and then maximum of 15 minutes. And uh, we'll leave room for people's questions, inquiries uh, uh, through the question uh, portion of the channel and uh, I'll try to answer them at my free time. Okay, I guess we're now uh, which part? This is the lowered uh, power and tower height of Antipolo. This simulation that you're seeing now is on 10 kilowatt transmitter power, 10 dB gain, and 100 meter power height. After this simulation, uh, I have saved uh, an image file of each simulation and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and then you'll be the judge which one would be beneficial. So, this kind of uh, technique or knowledge to do the simulation does not only apply for broadcasting, but if you're in the telecommunications industry and for uh, cell site uh, planning, this would really help uh, to, to make the technical study and the idea for optimization. One thing uniform in the simulation is that the signals do not pass the Tagaytay area because of the mountain. And then on the north, uh, the Arayat Mountains cut the, the signal propagation going northward. So natural obstructions are really uh, a big difference. So this is the comparison. Notice that the effect of Quezon City and Antipolo on identical parameters are somewhat similar except that the Antipolo will have we some weaker signal directly on the northern portion. Now this would be the 10 kilowatt Antipolo compared with the 30 kilowatt Quezon City. Notice that the difference it's, is not so significant at all. Okay, this means that your power consumption is 20 kilowatts less uh, with a lower cost uh, power. Okay. So your service area is well covered. And after showing you the results of the simulation, you be the judge which area best suits transmission for NCR. Thank you.